Yes, welcome back, people. Happy New Year, happy 2023. I hope you're all good, and I hope we're just going to go from strength to strength this year in what you do and in what I do here on this channel. So let's just ride together and let's just get on with this. <laughs> So yes, you may recall back in 2022, so long ago, <laughs> that Air Max Ones just did a madness last year. I, they had, you had the concept, the casinas, the, the uh, all whites. You, it just, it just went crazy. The pebbles, the, just all different kind of Air Max Ones, and they're all heat. People just switched from Jordans to Air Max One, probably because of the price. Let's be honest, but. You can't go wrong with an Air Max Man. It's a clean kick. So I managed to get my hands on my first Air Max One for 2023. And that was one of the Ugly Duckling packs. And that's the premium. So that's the orange and black color. I did like the other color, but I just felt these ones were the better ones for me. And these are ones I knew I would rock. So let's just get straight into this. They came in a normal Nike branding box, orange and white, Nike everywhere, and the usual stuff on the back as well. On the tag, it says Afrasic forward slash honeydew dash black. So obviously these are the black and orange ones I've got, but they call it, I suppose they call it honeydew, not orange. Um, inside the box, you've got the normal tissue paper, nothing to really write home with. And you've got spare pair laces in color black. They came with the color, what you're going to see in a minute on a box, but I bit peed because my box come damaged. I don't know what they were doing. You can see that big hole down. Anyway, is what it is. So let's just get straight onto the kick. Now, I'm going to put it up there already. I've worn these. They come through the door. I couldn't wait. I, I've, I've just got that love for kicks again. I could not wait to get my hands on these and just get them on my feet. I, I've done the smell test. I've done all that stuff. I held it. I looked at it. I went through it. So this is not an unboxing such. This is just me giving you my user review of the premier ugly ducklings from the ugly duckling pack now if you don't know the ugly duckling pack goes back to 2001 i believe but it was the night dunks ugly duckling pack so they've just brought out the retro colors on and they put them onto the air max ones and brought them out with a little je ne sais quoi to it so if we do what we normally do is start the sole the sole is dirty i apologize but as you can see, we've got the traditional Air Force One sole there. We've got little night tick with an air writing going through the middle. We've got the waffle bottoms and then the grated indents going through near the heel and near the toe of the shoe as well. The midsole is a white midsole, traditional Air Force One white midsole. And the air bubble is the same color, mint green, as you've got on the sole there going through with the little pillars between the bubble as well. It's got that kind of freckled look to the sole, like the, like the night crater foam. Um, I don't know if they're using that kind of stuff in there, but it's got a speckled kind of look. If we go up to the first mud guard, we've got that. They call it honeydew. Let's just call it orange. It just looks orange, but we got the orange honeydew color overlay, which goes completely around the trainer. And then underneath that, the base of the shoe is a black suede in a nice, nice premium feel, just like with the overlay, the orange overlay here. The suede is exactly the same in terms of the gray overlays which go on top. And then you've got that kind of green minty color um, overlay as a tick in suede as well. Very premium materials. Can't say anything wrong about this. The lace is the same color as the sole, which is that mint, mint color green. And on the tongue, you've got like a canvas type tongue and you've got the Nike orange tick and Air Max writing. When you go around the heel, the in the inlay of the shoe is again in orange, nice nylon type feeling. The insole is gray, same color gray as you've got on the overlays just above the honeydew color there. You've got again in green, you've got the Nike logo with air underneath. Also inside, which is not really gonna make that difference to you, Again, the lining of the shoe is in that nice green mint color as well. The tongue underneath, again, is in orange, just to go with 
the collar of the shoe and the heel of the shoe. The foam is what you expect or the cushioning is what you expect from an Air Max one. So your heel does sit in there. There's no missing about unless you've got a, you bought a bigger size exactly. So you, your foot does lock into the shoe, which is just a nice feeling. If you go around to the heel of the shoe, you can see that again, we've got the gray overlay over the black suede and there embossed in the heel is the little ugly duckling. Very nice. It doesn't look ugly though. Just a nice little picture of a duckling, which is a nice touch. In terms of sizing, definitely go true to size with these. I found, I don't really have problems with Nike. I'm always true to size with Nike, if I'm honest with you. Sometimes you get an Air Max, um, Air Force One, they feel a bit bigger than normal, but I think it's just the way the shoe is and the roundness of the shoe as well. When you're going for a more pointy toed shoe like Air Max One, if, for me, I'll definitely go true to size. If you've got a wide foot, then obviously you might go half a size up. If you can go half a size up. On feet, they feel just like a normal Air Max One. Quite cushiony, quite solid, and you're definitely not going to be uncomfortable in these like you might do like in a Jordan 1 or something like that. The cushioning is great on this. The materials are great on this. It's a premium material, and that's why it's called premium. I know people are calling it like the Halloween kick because of the orange and the green, etc. but... This is one what, strangely enough, just goes with anything you're wearing. There's no, there's no issues with it at all. You don't have to rock an orange top. You can do, but if you just got a normal jeans, etc., I think because of the black and the grey, they just sit nicely. They just sit nicely, and the green pops. So there's a little breakdown of it as well. Orange pops as well, and it just. It just goes to make a nice kick. If you can, I think these are still sitting actually. You can go out there, you can get them for retail. If you can't get them in your size, I don't think you're going to pay that much over in terms of resale. So definitely one to have in your collection, definitely one to show off. But while we're talking about showing off, have you seen those sneaker videos where they got the shoes all around the back and they've got a nice storage box and they've got lighting behind them and whatever? Don't worry, you can do that too for minimal cost. And I'm talking about Shoe Stack. Shoe Stack have been creating boxes for sneak heads for the last couple of years. The innovation they put into these boxes are phenomenal. They're drop down boxes. You can get side views like this one, which is their new acrylic, or you can get front view drop boxes, which you can see on my guy ACS Sneakers YouTube channel. I put the link up there, so go and make sure you go and follow. You can see how they look there. These are the clear acrylic boxes, so it's completely clear. You can see it from all different angles, or you can get the black, you can get the white ones, you can get the LED sound activated boxes. And if you go on the website, you'll see that they do a whole heap of stuff for sneakers, wipes, cleaners, travel cases, all different kind of things, shoe horns, everything you need. Best thing about this, use my code, which I'll drop in the description below, and it'll get you some decent money off as well. So definitely go onto Shoe Stack if you want to show off your kicks and have that nice presentation. And you don't have to try to go through boxes and find out which ones you want to wear. They're just there. Shoe Stack's the one, trust me. So my overall thoughts on this kick is one, you should get, you should just go and get this shoe. I'm not, I'm not capping with you. It's a nice kick, it's an Air Max One. You can't go wrong with Air Max One. It's a classic trainer which can go with anything you need to wear. And I'm telling you now, just don't miss out. It's, it's one of those ones. So that's it. That's all I can say on this. Thanks for coming back, man. It's been a minute, I know, but we're back, 2023. Let's make this a good year. Wishing you all the best. Patrick T, please like, subscribe. Definitely hit the notification bell. And I'll see you again. Peace.